Hey, it's Becky Fox here at the Critical Bench Compound. And today I have a workout that you can do at home with a set of light dumbbells. So this workout is great if you're a beginner or of course if you're at home, you don't even have to leave the house, you don't even have to go to a gym. So what we're gonna do is grab a set of dumbbells, of course grab one that is challenging. One of the problems I see too often is we go too light, but if you really wanna strengthen and tone and boost that metabolism and get the body that you're looking for, make sure you pick a challenging weight. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna do 12 reps of each of these moves and we're going to go ahead and circuit through four times. So this is gonna work your entire body from head to toe. We're gonna work every single muscle group and you're gonna definitely feel the burn. All right, so for this workout, we're gonna circuit through six moves. So I want you to go ahead and move right from one exercise to the next, because this is how you're gonna maximize your time and get the most out of this workout. So here's the moves that we're going to focus on. The first one is an alternating side lunge. From there, we're gonna hit that upper back and we're gonna hit, do some reverse flies. Then we're gonna take it back down to the lower body. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift. From there, we're gonna do a step back row and then we're gonna do a squat to a press. And finally, we'll finish off with some core and do a Russian twist. All right, let's go ahead and get into this workout. So grab those dumbbells. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to have a set of dumbbells, one in each hand. We're gonna take this to an alternating side lunge. So what you're gonna do is step out nice and wide and we're gonna lunge it to the side here. So a couple things to keep in mind as you're doing this. One is look at that foot. We want it pointed straight forward as you come into this move. As for the weights, we're just gonna bring them on either side of that leg here, okay? So giving yourself some room there just to reach across on the side of that leg. All right, so you really wanna sit your hips back and into this movement as you do this. And you are, yes, you're gonna lean forward just a little bit as you do that. Now you can see this other leg is staying nice and straight as I bend in here, okay? So make sure you're keeping that straight and really squat down into that move. All right, from there you may need to drop your dumbbell weight just a little bit. We're gonna go into a reverse fly. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your feet right under those hips, get those shoulders back and down. We're gonna push our booty back to the wall behind us. Really important here, we're keeping that back nice and straight and we're not rounding over, okay? Keep a little softness in those elbows. And what we're gonna do is just lift out to the side and really focus on squeezing right between those shoulder blades, all right? So if I had put a pencil, right on your back, you're trying to squeeze it together as you lift up. So you can really feel this in the back of your shoulders as well as that upper back. So bring it up about shoulder height all the way back down. Make sure to breathe here, breathe out. Whew. Breathe in as you bring it back down. Now we're trying to hit 12 reps, just like that, nice work. Next up, we're really gonna test that balance as well as working that leg. We're gonna go into a single leg deadlift, okay? So what you're gonna do here is we're gonna balance on one leg. Now you can lift this leg up all the way, but if you really struggle with balance, you can always either keep it on the floor or just tap anytime you need to, okay? So from there, we're going to go ahead and hinge forward nice and slow, and then take it all the way back up. Okay, a couple things to keep in mind here. Just like we did with the reverse fly, we wanna keep our back nice and straight as much as we can. Oopsie, a little wobbly there. <laughs> and the other thing is keep those weights close to your body. So what you don't want is have them way out in front of you. Keep them tight to that leg. Okay, so that's gonna help with your balance as well as keeping your back straight as well. Okay. So your goal here is to shoot for 12 on each leg, okay? So of course, once you do one side, guess what? We gotta even out. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now, here's what I notice with a lot of people. It's gonna feel harder on the second leg. So you're gonna do the side that's a little easier first. So just take your time with it. Okay, use that back foot anytime you need to, if you need to catch your balance, okay? and keep going here. So one thing as well, so you can see I'm a little wobblier on this side than I am on the other side, is one thing is make sure you're coming all the way back up. So what we don't wanna do is just kinda come up part way, come down, and then boom, all the way standing back up to really work through the glutes as well, get that booty work in. All right, one more here, 
just like that. <laughs> nice work. All right, next up is a step back row. So let's get those back muscles working. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna step back, come down into a little hinge here, row at the bottom, bring the weight back down, and then step together. So there's kind of four things here. We're coming down, we're rowing up, we're bringing it back down, and then we stand up nice and tall. So after doing those single leg deadlifts, whoo, you're still gonna feel this in those legs. But now what we're gonna do is start to work those back muscles. So really important here that we're just driving those elbows right past that body, pressing them up to the ceiling, bringing them back down. Okay, we're gonna do one more here. And just like those deadlifts, guess what? We gotta even out on that other side. So we're gonna keep going here, switch sides, step it back, hinge it forward, drive it up, bring it down. Again, make sure we're standing all the way back up. And make sure you're hinging forward a good amount because we really wanna get that nice forward lean so that we're getting those back muscles working. All right, let's do a couple more together. And of course your goal at home is to hit 12 of these Yes, on each side. Good, right here, squeeze it up. Boom, all the way back down. Nice and tall at the top. Nice work. All right, next up we have a squat to press. I love this move because it works your upper body and your lower body at the same time. We're really getting the most bang for your buck with this move. So what we're gonna do is bring the weight right up to those shoulders and take those feet about shoulder width apart here. We're gonna sit back into a squat, and just keep those weights right on those shoulders as you come down. And as you come up, boom, push it up all the way, nice and tall. Bring it down and then sit it back. So easy way to remember this is everything comes down at the same time, <laughs> everything goes up at the same time. All right, just like that, nice. All right, so let's do one more like this. I'm gonna show you from the side so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, okay? So you wanna make sure you are sitting your hips back, right? Like there's a chair there, I'm trying to sit my booty back as far as it'll go. And then when I push up tall, be careful not to arch your back. Keep your belly tight, engage through that core as you do this exercise. So I'm sitting back, up, okay? Now if the squats, for some of you, maybe you have to keep it small, maybe it hurts your knees, you haven't done a squat in a long time, go to the depth that works for you, okay? We all gotta start somewhere and that's totally okay. So if you can't get as low as me, don't worry, do what you can. All right, so just like that, sit it back, press it tall, just like that. All right, this last move, we're gonna get down on the floor and work that core. So for this one, you only need one weight that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and bring our feet out. So we're gonna just kind of rest on our heels, keeping our knees bent up off the ground a little bit. From there, just start to lean back, okay? So about 45 degrees or so as far as we wanna go. And we're just gonna take that weight and we're gonna twist our upper body with our shoulders from side to side. So I like to think like I'm just trying to take my pinky down towards the floor. And again with this, just go as far as you can. If you can't hit all the way to the floor, that's totally okay. Now if you're just starting out, I like to keep those heels on the ground. Okay, if you wanna make it a little harder, you could lift a foot up or two, just like that, okay? But don't be shy, if you need to keep your feet down on the floor, that's totally awesome. So this is really great for the core, especially the side through those obliques. And it's great for us to get some of this twisting movement in because we don't do this a lot during the day. So it keeps us nice and flexible as well through that midsection. Awesome, so let's finish strong right here. Good, and nice work. Thanks so much for joining me for this workout. Now, if you enjoyed this workout, you're gonna love the Unlock Your Glutes program. So this comes as a DVD or a digital download, along with a book that has all the images of all the exercises you're going to be doing. So if you've been trying to work those glutes and not getting anywhere, or you just want a rounder, stronger booty, then this is gonna be a great program for you. So go ahead and click the link in that pinned comment below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let us know in a comment below and hit that like button. Thanks so, so much and we'll see you next time.